Developing now, tensions are high at a high school in Ahwatukee after this photo was posted online. It shows six Desert Vista High School students wearing shirts spelling out what appears to be a racial slur. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas is live at Desert Vista High School right now. And Lauren, what's the reaction out there? Well, the students I talk to insist this is not normal behavior here, but the news spread like wildfire through the campus. Everyone just scratching their heads and wondering why no one involved here thought twice before posting that photo. It only took a moment to snap this photo and post it online, but the consequences for the students involved will certainly last much longer. Everybody was just talking about it in class. Everybody thinks like the girls are dumb for doing it. What apparently started as a harmless message for the senior class photo quickly turned much more serious when the six girls decided to change the message to this racial slur. They posted on Snapchat and someone screenshotted it and put it on Twitter and it just went viral. Alexis Barfield knows several girls in the photo and doesn't understand what they were thinking. Being an African American, that's just like disrespectful in so many different ways. Tensions were running high at Desert Vista High School even as our cameras were rolling. It's not a big deal to me. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a bad derogatory term. You never know who it offends, but it's not that big of a deal to me. An interview with a student downplaying the photo escalated into a confrontation when another boy tried to intervene. Completely against interviews, no interviews. Bro, what are you Watch out, bro. <laughs> Extra security was on hand as the last bell rang, with several Phoenix police cars circling the campus just in case. It's pathetic to me. It's very pathetic. So the rumor is these girls got five days suspension. The school will not talk specifics, but did say that number is not accurate. They say they plan on implementing a racial sensitivity class and say the people who, who took the photo could also face punishment as well. Yeah, and we just found out that the letter going home to parents is on abc15.com along with a full statement from the school district. So if you want to check that out, you can. Lauren, thank you.